Hello, it's Thursday, August the 5th, and uh, we want to look at uh, a little more uh, of chapter 47 of the prophecy of Isaiah. We've looked at 46, and now 47, and next week 48, and all these chapters are about the decline and fall of the Babylonian uh, Empire, 150 plus years in the prophet's future, of course, uh, that God will save his people. Uh, but he will do it through a lot of pain and grief uh, as he chastises his people and schools them uh, in the school uh, of exile uh, in, in Babylon. Now I want to pick it up in chapter 47 uh, at verse uh, 12. Stand fast in your enchant enchantments and your many sorceries uh, with which you have labored from your youth, perhaps you may be able to su succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. Uh, you are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you. Now, as you read these closing verses, you see that the two things that this Babylonian culture uh, believed in and thought would save them, one was religion and the other was business. And that as, you, as you read these verses, uh, later uh, after this uh, after this episode uh, look for those two things uh, religion and 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 business religion and human uh, effort and in verse 13 you are wearied with your many counsels uh, it, it's as though babylon goes into a meltdown and uh, there are so many solutions. People are offering now so many solutions to the crisis uh, that they uh, find themselves in with the growing threat uh, of uh, uh, Persia. Uh, it's as though the culture is facing a crisis and exhaustion. And I think, I think as we look at our own culture, uh, it, it's exhausting as as you hear this solution and that solution and, and that solution to adopt this theory and that theory uh, and and everyone is cancelling everyone and and eventually the culture uh, implodes uh, upon uh, itself uh, one commentator uh, reminded me of uh, T.S. Eliot's uh, line um, uh, this is the way the world uh, will end, uh, not with a bang, uh, but with a whimper. Uh, and with all this clangor, uh, God says in verse 15, Such to you are those with whom you have labored, who have done business with you from your youth. They wander about, each in his own direction. There is no one to save you. Right? R religion has no remedy. Uh, business has no uh, remedy. Uh, the prophets of Babylon have no remedy. The only remedy, the only solution is God, uh, the God of the Old Testament, uh, the God of the New Testament, uh, the God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who offers uh, to sinners uh, gospel, uh, grace, and hope through faith alone in Christ alone. Well, I trust, uh, even though this chapter, chapter 47 this week, has been about a, a kingdom far, far away uh, and, and far, far ago, uh, I, I trust that you see in it something uh, that is of enormous relevance uh, and an encouragement for our own time. We wrestle against a culture uh, and, and a culture that eventually will implode upon itself. And God will reveal uh, to us uh, that he is in charge all along. We need to trust him. Well, that's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll come back again next Monday with, uh, and we'll park out in chapter 48 uh, of the prophecy of Isaiah.